Hi everybody, this is Diana Palm, The Love Witch. And today I wanna to talk to you about the August supermoon. It is the last supermoon of 2022. There are really only four supermoons in a year and this is our last one. And I'm gonna tell you how you can take advantage of the specific energy of this particular supermoon. Today is August 10th, which means tomorrow, August 11th, is the Sturgeon Supermoon. But don't worry if you're watching this a day before or a day after the event, because there's a five-day manifestation window surrounding this particular supermoon. That means a few days leading up to the supermoon, August 9th, August 10th, August 11th, August 12th, and August 13th, are powerful manifestation days where you can use the energy of the moon to amplify your own ability to manifest changes within your life. Every full moon impacts nature, impacts the tides, impacts human beings. Think about how full moons can impact the ocean, creating more energy in the ocean and forming tidal waves. Your body is like an ocean. Your body is mostly water, which means that your body also responds to all of the moon's phases. Knowing this can really help you to tune in with the different phases of the moon to help you and assist you in your life. As the lunar cycles are building towards a full moon, this is known as the best time to manifest what it is you want to in your life. Think of it as the moon getting larger and larger, just as your dreams are getting larger and larger. So the things you want to bring into your life, this is the time of the lunar cycle when you want to manifest and draw more to you. After the full moon, the energies will assist you in releasing things that you want to get rid of. This is when the moon visually is shrinking. So think about getting rid of excess, getting rid of addictions, getting rid of bad habits, releasing relationships that no longer serve you. So the days leading up to the full moon, you want to acquire things that you truly want. And then after the full moon, you release. In this lunar cycle, the supermoon has a larger impact on you than any other full moon. Supermoons have extra energy, which will really, really help you to manifest and release the things you want to shift in your life. August 11th is known as the Sturgeon Full Moon. And I did a little research to find out why. In the old Farmer's Almanac, this is the particular time of year where it was really easy to catch sturgeon up in the Great Lakes. So this supermoon is named after this time of year when there were ample sturgeon available to fish. The energies that you need to be aware of during this supermoon, particularly the two days leading up to, the day of, and the two days after, are going with the flow and maintaining a state of gratitude. If you can stay in the flow and maintain gratitude as you're moving through these five days, it will really assist you in adjusting to the energies that are super potent right now. It may make you feel more emotional. So if you're feeling emotionally triggered for any reason, take a breath and use your intellect to bring balance back into your life to help you ride through this emotional time. You can also use this energy to your advantage. If you have been repressing emotions around any situation in your life, the supermoon may cause them to be revealed. It may cause emotions to rise or come to the surface. And this gives you the opportunity to heal it, to either take appropriate action to follow through on your emotions or to heal those emotions. If they're old emotions that need to be healed, this would be the ideal time to do a little inner work and healing on those emotions. The energies of this supermoon call you to release control, release where you have felt restricted, release resistance in your life, and allow the flows to step into your life. There are many miracles that will happen during this five-day manifestation window for those that stay in the flow. You could be getting the breakthrough you've been waiting for. There will be many breakthroughs coming for you if you can release your old way of thinking, if you can release your resistance to having your dreams come true. This is the time to step out of your comfort zone and allow those breakthrough moments to come into your life. Those could be breakthroughs in love. Those could be breakthroughs in career. Those could be sudden phone calls telling you you got the project, you got the job. It could be a romantic partner coming in and proposing to you. It could be any number of things that would be viewed as a breakthrough moment. Where you've been feeling stagnation, this supermoon calls you to release the stagnation, 
release your resistance to moving forward. And if you can do this and stay in a more open, available space, especially during these five days, it is possible for you to receive huge leaps forward in any area of your life. It is time for you to release boundaries and limits that have been holding you back. It is time for you to release any resistance to change, and particularly where it comes to your own uniqueness in the world. If you have been trying to fit in, if you've been wondering why you've been passed by, and you've been trying to get ahead and it seems difficult, this is a time for recalibration. If you begin to really recognize the special uniqueness that you are, that your life has created within you and you embrace that and you share that with the world, this is the time for you to shine. This is the time for you to boss up, not by being like everyone expects you to be, not by being like everyone else, but by being your authentic self, by being your unique self. What makes you unique? Think about that and express it instead of repress it. This energy will really help you to stay in the flow. This is not a forced energy. This is something that comes natural to you. So if you have been downplaying your sense of humor or anything else that you think is weird or strange or odd about you, those are actually your superpowers. And during this super moon cycle, there's a lot of energy and attention wanting to push those energies to the forefront. So be your authentic self, be your original self. Do not try to fit in, release resistance, and release anything you've been repressing. It's time for you to tap into those emotions, it's time for you to shine, and it's time for you to move forward. Remember what I said, this is the time for you to receive the big breakthroughs that you have been waiting for. So shift your energy and become available to this right now. This super moon is also going to impact your sense of security and stability. Anywhere that you've been clinging too tightly to what you consider stable, this area is likely to get shaken up right now. This could be creating a stable home, a stable job, a stable relationship. Anywhere that you've been focusing on the energy of creating stability, this is something that may be getting shaken up right now. And when that does, it makes people feel unstable. Sometimes the word unstable can seem like a bad word. And I know this from personal experience because there are many things that I've tried to create stability around in my life. And I find that when I release my strong desire and my passion, around creating stability, that that actually helps me to release resistance around it and it comes in and in a different way than I could have even imagined. So I know firsthand how this works. And with this particular super moon, this is an area of your life that is likely to get shaken up. So release some resistance around any area of your life that is causing you resistance with stability or where you have old paradigms running old structures around how you feel stability needs to look in your life. The more you can remain flexible in this area, the more you can actually allow yourself to be in alignment with what is meant for you. And that in itself will create a new sense of stability for you. But it's highly likely that it will look different than what you imagined. Remain flexible, get plenty of extra rest. Remember your emotions may be going from high to low, high to low as we move through these five days. Taking that extra rest will allow your own body to stabilize in the energy of flow instead of trying to push it or resist it. So stay flexible, get your rest, and use your intellect to remind yourself not to overreact out of emotions, but to also honor your emotions and express your emotions as well as expressing your authentic self. The changes coming in around your security and stability are for your benefit. So even if you don't see it immediately, in the long run, this is creating a better path for you and more stability for you. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone right now and embrace these changes. Many times we create a sense of stability around outdated ideas from years ago and perhaps even from our childhood. This energy calls us to reframe what we consider stable and to allow ourselves to transform and our vision for ourselves and our lives to transform for the better. 
If you're interested in some simple techniques to help you manifest, be sure to check out my manifestation videos to help you get in alignment with the energies coming for you. I would love to know what your big breakthrough is that you've been waiting for. And I would be really curious to know how well you are able to stay in the flow, move through these changes, and how many of you receive your big breakthrough because of it. Please let me know that down in the comments below. Let me know what you've been wishing and hoping and praying for. And then let me know how you will get out of your way, release resistance, and get in alignment with the Sturgeon Supermoon. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to see you in the next video.